Well, Bananas tries to be fun as well as deadly serious. I mean, there is no point in saving a world there's no fun to live in. We have to have fun while we, while we go about it, and this information needs to be uh, enjoyable to get hold of. I'm Mike Berners-Lee. I am the director of Small World Consulting. I'm um, a professor at Lancaster University and I'm the author of some books including How Bad a Banana is the Carbon Footprint of Everything. In order to deal with climate change we have to understand where the carbon is in our lives and, and around the world. And you can't see carbon dioxide um, and usually the things that cause carbon emissions are, um, uh, they take place at out of sight, down distant supply chains, and most of us most of the time haven't got a clue about what's got a big carbon footprint, what's got a small carbon footprint. So How Bad Are Bananas is trying to just map out the terrain and give us all a sense of perspective, just really broadly speaking, what things have tiny carbon footprints and what things have huge carbon footprints, so we can manage it sensibly. Uh, you know, most people, if they don't know anything about it, are surprised by the carbon footprint of food. Um, more and more people aren't surprised by the huge carbon footprint of flying anymore. Um, the carbon footprint of IT is something which is just coming onto people's radar at the moment as a surprise for some. Um, but you know, there's, I think, possibly the one single surprise is that, you know, it's almost impossible to buy or do anything in our lives without triggering off a whole load of carbon emissions around the whole global economy. If you want to understand the carbon footprint of a product, you have to look all the way down the incredibly complex supply chains um, of everything it takes for that product to be made. And if you really consider it carefully, those supply chain pathways turn out to be infinite and you can't possibly um, scrutinise each one of them with the care that we'd ideally like to. So all carbon footprints are a best estimate. The good news with carbon footprinting is that you don't actually need it to be perfect. It only needs to be good enough that people can make broadly sensible decisions in their lives and in their work. And part of that is about low carbon living and the rest of it is about asking how else can I exert my influence? So how can I, that's at the workplace, uh, in my school or university, when I vote, how can I influence my politicians? Every time I spend money I'm pushing for one future or another. Um, so it's, it's identifying all the ways in which we have influence and asking, okay, how am I going to exert that influence?